extra charge for mistakes. You know me. Uh, hey guys, just a little uh, re uh, regrouping back into being back in Nashville. I was out in Nashville, North Carolina, me and my, my new lady friend. Uh, man, I met a great girl uh, right when I was about to give up hope here in Music City. Man, this girl came along and swept me off me, my feet. Um, man, what a what a great human being and just a joy to be around. I needed that. Your old boy here needed it. Um, anyway, uh, that was a blast. Uh, heading, to, looking down the barrel of heading down to um, uh, up to New York City with Oz Noy, June 29th at the Bitter End uh, with Andy Hess and Sean Pelton on the drums. Uh, Andy Hess has played with everybody, did all the Uber Jam, Schofield Records, and. Uh, Sean Pelton's been on Saturday Night Live and has recorded and played with literally everybody on the planet. You gotta check him out, Sean Pelton. Anyway, going up to do that, uh, the trip to North Carolina was incredible. I uh, did some hiking, stayed at a great hotel in Asheville called The Foundry. Asheville is a cool as shit town. Um, it's pretty crunchy, which I don't mind. Uh, a lot of good beer, a lot of good food, a lot of outdoor stuff, and just a laid back, uh, chill little community over there. I've got some family in Brevard, just south of there, which is an also, also an amazing little mountain town that uh, uh, borders the Pisgah National Forest. I think there's like 250 waterfalls down there or more uh, in Transylvania County. It's supposed to be a more spooky part of the, of the uh, more, more um, untrodden part of the, um, of the Smoky Mountain area. Anyway, um, what else did we do? Um, oh, I went and saw my uncle. Uh, Uncle Uncle Jerry. We've got Uncle Larry. Well, I got an Uncle Jerry. And he taught me how to play music when I was a kid, uh, hanging out with him after school, playing music like that, that I just did. Uh, don't forget your roots. So um, getting back to the roots a little bit, um, of just sitting down with a guitar and be able to, being able to play something like that. Three chords, you know, maybe a little, I threw in a little thing I'll show you in a second, but um, and I'll show you what I'm doing here, and then I'm gonna show you a little, show you a couple little tricks with the capo, um, some some cool things you can do. But anyway, uh, yeah, Jerry, you know he's been through the ringer, you know, uh, drinking a lot, and then uh, finally fell and broke his hip, and then he he uh, got got that you know got that under control, and then um, had some other issues, as you will when you've been partying that long, that hard for that long. And uh, man, he's just a total character. I'll, I'll put a little photo up or something at the end of this video so you can see him. And he's just a wild mountain man living out in North Carolina, making making these tables and uh, leather holsters and wallets and stuff. He sent me, and they're all all my family's fine. They're fine woodworkers, um, and so they're able to do all this stuff. But great sailors, woodworkers, um, you know, real men that can do real shit. And um, so I went and saw him. He's he's doing better. Uh, he, he said he was uh, he was smoking his pipe behind the towel in the ICU, sneaking a smoke in the ICU, and now he's snorting snuff off a pocket knife. And these guys run hard, man. Uh, and that's where I get some of it, I guess, too. But uh, getting back to the guitar, oh oh, we're uh, full. I'm in the middle of a full blown live recording at the at the Underdog with the trio. Uh, we're doing Pro Audio, the guy that runs RCA with Dave Cobb. He's uh, live, you know, recording the whole thing live with his rig. Room mics. Uh, this this recording is going to sound fantastic. We're doing uh, both sets two nights. We did last night, and we're going to do tonight. And we're getting it all on you know high quality audio, high quality video. All the guys that do the Grand Old Opry, uh, Jerry Douglas's son is going to is doing the whole video thing. We've got three or four guys in there doing that live from the underdog trio it's going to be amazing uh i gotta promote that um and, and guys look we're doing the uncle larry record we, we've got we've got the the artworks done i'm a lot of talking here i know i know bear with me uh we're getting we're getting a lot you know i gotta tell you about all these projects so uh the uncle larry record we got the artwork approved i think you're gonna like it uh just about 10 minutes ago we uh, committed to our friend um Eric that's going to do the mastering and so this record is wrapping up fast baby and so we're going to have that to you real soon we're not pick picking a date yet because that puts a lot of pressure on us but um that will be out very soon we are super excited uh but this trio a lot of projects and I, I gotta say this we're paying for all these out of our own pocket if you guys are feeling generous and you want to support I might do a, a, a Indiegogo for the uh for the uh, trio record because we got to pay for some of this stuff man. I'm 
I'm spending a lot of money, which I know is not your problem, but I'm spending a lot of money right now on this Uncle Larry project and the, um, uh, the trio project as well as a new website and all that stuff. So if anybody's out there feeling, if anybody out there is feeling generous, you can always hit the tip jug below. And then again, we're going to, we're going to lean on you guys for some, uh, for some support for this record. And, um, both these projects actually and then don't forget the true fire stuff man please check out artist works and true fire uh that's how we make a living this is how we are going to stay motivated and when these things you know when the social media and stuff doesn't do as well as as, as it usually does or if i have a little lull man i get discouraged and so it's hard to do this day in and day out and try to keep these businesses growing. So uh, any help from you guys is greatly appreciated. Don't, you know, go down and hit that tip jug at the bottom of the page. Um, I hate to say, have to say this, but I, but I do. So um, to keep staying motivated and move all these projects forward, this is what we do. We're, if we just do this YouTube channel and we're not, or Instagram and Facebook, and we're not releasing art at a high level, real studios, real professionals, then we're just as bad as somebody, you know, putting photos of them at the beach on Instagram and never, you know, putting any art out. So you get what I'm saying. So this stuff here, it, this is what it's about. Let's get back to our roots. Let's get back to our roots. Rhythm. Right. Tone. Nice tone. Light touch. Every note is ringing. Make sure you can hear every note. Make sure you can hear every note. If you're holding down a chord, you don't want this. You want nice, soft touch. Don't bend those strings uh, accidentally out of tune, right? Light touch, light touch. The next thing I want to tell you, don't worry about playing these big, giant, full chords all the time. Now, watch this. I'm playing in C. I'm going to start my melody on the G, on the, on the five. That's all I'm doing. One finger. I might not even play this big C chord. I might do this. It's about freeing up and making this easy on yourself. You know, a couple, uh, nobody wants to do anything difficult. I'm not grabbing these big, giant, weird, hard chords just because they look cool. Um, that ain't about that. It's about freeing up. You know, play E. Uh, right, that, you know. Okay, there's an easier way to do that. Little things like this. That, that's music right there. So again, here's the key of C, a little melody line. So that's five to the three. And then I'm going to, I'm going to play a little chord around that. That's F. Real open, two fingers. Back to C, right? One finger. G7. Back to my C. These little things like this. Sing this stuff in your head and it's going to be way easier to play. I'm sure trying to show, show guys stuff and they're like trying to keep up with me note for note. And I'm like, look. You got to listen first. Like, you know, if you play, hear that in your head first before you try to play it. It'll be way easier if you can sing along. So um, then I went to like a G, then A minor. G to the two. But I put the D, uh, the, the, the third of the D in the bass. So A minor, G, D with the third in the bass, then F, the folky G, then 
back to C, right? But loosen it up. That's kind of folk bluegrass style, right, Doc Watson? There's a third. Uh, up to that E, right? You can do that if you want. Okay. Just showing you a couple little folky things here that you can sit around. That's making music, though. Do it, you know, sitting around and going, you know. That's not music. But this, that's music, right? So let's don't forget our roots. Now I'm going to show you a little trick that I like to do sometimes just for fun. Let's just go to the third fret. Who cares? Uh, this is a short scale. So um, let's just go to the third fret. Put this capo on so i'm using this g7 capo it's got gt on it they custom made that for me that was nice of them they stole my logo and put that on the back but i like these capos they stay out of the way they don't have that big thing up here like the kaiser or whatever or you use a shove or something like that but you want to get you don't want to put your capo here because that's going to pull these strings out of tune you want to get it right up to the fret as close as you possibly can and just squeeze lightly to make sure. Okay, that's nice, right? Every, every note is clear. Make sure that's on there good. What that does, it's kind of fun to put a capo on and play this style that I was just playing because the guitar, it gets really nice and tight. Like the string tension gets a little tighter. So you get this kind of gives you a cool little I'm getting off on this other stuff here but let's get let's play the same thing I did at the front now using the capo I'll try to do a little cross picking in there, watch. Like if you do Wildwood Flower. That's that cross picking. That's tricky. That's tricky shit right there. Watch. trick for wild flower but that like uh, uh it's a tricky rhythm right that's tricky shit right there that's what i need to be practicing every day uh but i don't play this style much anymore but hey so here's a cool thing you can do for wild flower uh, when it goes to the b part so e7 So C, E7, A minor, C7, F diminished, C with the G in the bass. So that whole thing. Sorry, sorry. You get a little tight here. So C, E7, A minor, C7. So yeah. C, E7, A 
minor, C7, F, diminished with a C with a G in the bass. So that's instead of, you know, let's see, ah. Uh, so. Sorry, uh, I can't hit that C7 for shit. A little reharmonization of the B part, right? Okay, so then, you know, it's, it's fun to put the capo on. It gives you a nice tight look. Look, if you really want to get bluegrass, you go down here to, to, to the fourth fret and you play your B. If uh, any of those other guys will, nobody else on YouTube is gonna go bluegrass on you, baby. But old GT will. Don't forget your roots. Uh, just getting back into it here, flailing around a little bit. But anyway, I'm gonna get off here. Thanks so much for listening. Um, I'm getting back after a little vacation. Looking forward to these projects. Trying to stay motivated, man. I'm telling you, I had a little rough, rough spot yesterday getting off that Asheville trip and, you know, looking at all these projects and had a couple things, you know, the Instagram kind of wasn't growing as fast as it normally does. I'm in between marketing people and doing it on my own and got a little discouraged, you know, looking down the barrel of this live recording and I had to really psych myself up yesterday. So um, all the positivity helps from you guys. As I said, man. If you're feeling generous and you want to support what we're really doing this for, for real, go down and check out the tip jug. We really appreciate it. Any any little bit of that of that helps. I mean, if they're going to pass the collection plate at church, we might as well do it here. Um, the church of guitar. When you're not when you're not playing, you're praying. I just made that up. Anyway, just kidding. But um, uh, thanks a bunch, guys. We'll uh, we'll be back with some videos uh, here in the next couple of days and. Uh, Looking, uh, looking forward to it, man. Thanks a bunch. See y'all.